All right, guys, so today we are going to be giving you a tutorial walkthrough of the labyrinth. We're going to show you guys everything uh, that everything you need to know about this mission, about this level, about the way that this works so that you can absolutely crush it. And we're going to be showing you guys uh, a solo run for this time. OK, so the labyrinth is pretty straightforward. It has the same overlying objective as all the other missions. Every single level, every zone, you want to collect two keys and then get to the door. The first key is going to be marked on the map as long as you're under power level 140. You can see it on the map here or you can see it on the mini map over there up in the top right. Okay, <laughs> break all my stuff, that's fine. All right, so this one is, looks like it's gonna be over here. We'll just run into the door, break the crypt and grab the key. So every single time you gotta find a shadow key, the shadow key is hidden somewhere on the map, whereas the husk key is something you have to fight for. So all the enemies are going to come after you. You smash them and you keep on smashing them until they drop a key. There you go. There's the key right there. Once you have both keys, then you want to run for the exit. The exit will be marked on the mini map and marked in the main map. You get there as quick as you can and run into the door. The Ooh, dodge. Yikes. Okay, so we're going to block that off and open the door. Hopefully we can open the door before they break my walls. Otherwise, we got to do it again. There we go. So we blocked it off with a wall and then ran on through. Now we're going to follow the... Ooh, here we go. So we need to get a better weapon. So we need to start breaking urns. Uh, we need to find a really fast attack sword. That's what we are, you know, ideally what we're looking for. Unfortunately, this one here doesn't give you a lot of options. You got to kind of run because uh, this one, you get cursed and you'll take damage the entire time that you're cursed. So we need to find that key as quick as we can. And we need to also, uh, you know, keep killing enemies so that we can heal heal through the curse. The, her the curse is going to do a horrible, horrible amount of damage to you. And you got to keep fighting and keep on hunting. Now, these things here, these are the talismans. If you collect a talisman, it'll actually stop that curse from eating you up and buy you a bunch of time. And then once that, you know, that pressure's off, you can afford to actually, uh, you know, search again and find some of the, uh, oh, there we go. We got the husky. Yeah, once, once the pressure's off, you can actually afford to break some of these urns and try to get yourself a better weapon. You just got to break a lot of stuff because honestly, it's all random. You don't know if you're going to get what you need. Now that's a teleportation trap. You want to block that with a floor, cover it up. Otherwise, if you step on it, it'll teleport you to some random location, um, usually near the start of the, the map, which can mess you over because you don't want to backtrack over areas you've already been. All right. Okay. So we are getting closer. There we go. Anything good? No, nothing good. Still looking for a fast attack sword. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, gorgeous. I wonder. Well, we're getting close to the key. Now, this this labyrinth is uh, it's quite a mess, man, because it's just a big maze of rooms. It's like a haunted house. It's hard to tell where you are. There's no clear defined path. There's no, you can't follow the, uh, oh, hey, there we go. That could be really good for us to find the, uh, the, hidden, the hidden object. One of these objects will give us our loot. No, here. Open secret door. Poof. There we go. Hey, that could be good. Give me that. What do we got here? Uh, they feel about the same. Okay, so we're going to go pick up that talisman since our talisman just ran out. That'll buy us a little bit more time. Okay, so we're getting closer to this key. There we go. We got to it. All right, sweet. We got both keys. We can get out of here. This place is rough, man. These levels just get worse and worse because you're constantly under, under time pressure. The advantage of doing this solo is that there is less pressure for time because you're going to find you can hog the amulets a little bit more. But when you have a lot of people, you got to spread out really, really fast. There isn't enough amulets for everybody. And uh, you got to end up, you know, doing a lot of healing. Just heal yourself, <laughs> working your way through the labyrinth, trying to find your way out. Still not, not a single sword. We're looking for some fast attack goodies, man. Come on, open it before they hit you, bro. <laughs> All right, we're out. All right, cool. Next level. Now, very nice. We got a talisman right here waiting for us. We're not going to waste it, though. We can survive with our healing, and we still have quite a bit of talisman left. We don't want to use it up unless we actually need it. Okay, so I see the husk key on the ground, so we don't need this anymore. Pick up our key, finish off the husks, repair this. Okay, so now we need to find our way over to... Definitely not that. Okay, so we need to find our way over to that key. Now you just kind of keep on traveling in the general direction as best you can. You can actually see on the map where all of the uh, all of the talismans are. So you can grab, you can actually look for talismans if you run out of gas. 
as we just did. Okay, so it looks like this is a dead end. Oh, we can go up. All right, so let's go this way. Oh, I see. Oh, we got an ex exit here. <laughs> you just keep on trying to get closer and closer. We do have some, oh, we have some, uh, some purple flames leading us to the exit. That's good. That'll kind of lead us in the right direction. Can we go up? We can go up. Nice. Oh, there we go. There, this one hits a lot harder. Alrighty then. Cool. All right, so we've got both keys now. Now we're going to be heading towards the exit. We'll just find that door. We're just going to keep heading in the general direction and hope that we can find a path through. This one's leading us up high. That kind of uh, doesn't fill me with hope. <laughs> I feel like we went the wrong way. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. Oh, there's a dead squish in there and a bunch of captive captured gnomes. Wow, that's a horror show. It's like a horror movie, man. Get out of here. Let me throw. Oh, God. Still no swords. Ooh, that's a really upgraded wrecking bar, though. Much higher power level. And this one is fire, which could come in handy. On the other hand, maybe we'll just take both of them. This one's water. This one's fire. Oh, let's get out of here. This is clearly the wrong place to go. We want to go down, not up. Got some good loot, though, so that's all right. Uh, there's some... We found the uh, the purple purple flames leading us to the exit. That's good. Purple flames. The purple flames will never lead you astray. There we go. We are out of here. Sweet. Boom. Peace out. Okay. We're on down to the lower level. We'll take that talisman. We're definitely not coming back here. Okay. Look at this. Look at this craziness. Is this a horror movie or what? Answer? Yes. Yes, it is. This is called Nightmare Fuel. Oh, score. There it is. Fast attack sword. All right. We're good to go now. Got to cover up those traps. We're just going to avoid most combat until we find that key. And there it is. Oh, that was easy. Just easy peasy. All right, let's destroy this thing. Protect ourselves there. We don't really need the secret door, but why not? There's only so many things it could be. You get like a room full of objects. You're like, gee, I wonder which one it is. Ooh, Master Driver Club. Interesting. Let's see how bad this boy is. Pretty nasty. Question is, is it... Whoa, there we go. Husky. Holy cow, man. Oh, we are killing it. Look at us go. All right, easy as pie, man. Easy as pie. Follow those purple flames. Lead me out of here. Oh, look at that. And done. Labyrinth is easy peasy, man. The only thing that's challenging about the labyrinth is managing the uh, the health drain, honestly. If you can get your hands on those the, the talismans, then uh, you're going to be doing pretty okay. Uh, but the pressure of having those having that health draining on you can be very, very racking. can be very, you know, high pressure, very scary. Oh, there's the boss. Yeah, we're going to throw down the uh, slow field here. There we go. Throw down some... Throw down our turrets and our slow field. Just kind of get behind him. If you get in front of him, he'll try to attack you from the front. And then you can just run behind him. Once you're behind him, he'll try to jump up in the air. And you just step away. Let him hit the ground. Jump back in. Boom. Done. Easy as pie. The grotto is still way, way harder than the labyrinth. The labyrinth is just stressful because of the life drain. Once you get over the life drain, once you find those uh, talismans to prevent your life from draining off, uh, it's it, it's pretty pretty easy to navigate the labyrinth. There's a lot of different ways to go, but ultimately it's a lot of interlocking, kind of leading you into a general direction. There's not a lot of you know uh, high and low ground uh, and tunneling systems, so that you you get confused as to how to get to a certain area of the map. If you see the a direction, you know if you see that key is in a direction on that map, you just head towards that direction and you just keep hitting doors that are in that general direction until you get there. It's very very easy, not a lot of confusion. Definitely, uh, it's definitely the hardest though in the 140 because of that high pressure life draining situation. Your whole team is frantically running through trying to find the keys and the keys are not marked so it's a much much harder mission a lot of fun